Hello and welcome to Physician Perspectives, The Gut World, Episode 2. Here I'd like to talk about a very important tissue in the gut called as the Gut Associated Lymphoid Tissue or GOLD. The gut is complex, so here's another piece of the jigsaw puzzle of the complex gut. My presentations are based on publications that are available in the d public domain. I will almost always put a first image of the, uh, of the presentation here as well as the reference at the bottom. Now this is an interesting publication from 2020 on the anatomical uniqueness of the mucosal immune system. Now what we have to understand is that the digestive and respiratory tracts are continuously exposed to antigens, commensals and pathogens present in the lumen that can sometimes cross the mucosal epithelium. Now a barrier is therefore necessary for the nutrient acquisition in the gut from food and for gas exchange in the respiratory tract from the air we breathe. Now, the exposure of the mucosal surface to exogenous materials also makes them a port of entry for potentially pathogenic organisms or even pathogenic or, uh, or what you call as antigens that can cause harm to the body. As a result, the immune system devotes enormous resources to the defense of such mucosal surfaces. Therefore, it is so important for the mucosal lymphoid organs to have robust mechanisms to fine-tune immune responses to the types of antigens that they encounter. An antigen is any substance that causes the body to make an immune response against that substance. So this substance could be a protein in, in, a, in a virus or a, or a bacteria or something that you breathe in a particle. Now, the body then takes up that information and, and mounts up an immune response. Now to make that immune response possible in or to mucosal antigens, we have secondary lymphoid organs in the uh, mucosal surface that collect these antigens and then recruit B cells and T cells from the blood and utilize all these stromal cells to organize encounters uh, amongst these different cell types and you know, generate uh, an immune response that is appropriate for the type of antigen. Therefore, in the gut, the inductive tissues or gut-associated lymphoid tissue, GALT, are inductive sites for adaptive immune responses to gut-derived antigens. So the gut-associated lymphoid tissue is not one organ. They are a collection of organs of different types which make it complex yet pretty good. So they are the crypto patches, the isolated lymphoid follicles, the pious patches, the sequel patches, colonic patches, mesenteric lymph nodes and ectopic lymphoid tissue that can develop anywhere between the stomach and the colon. So it is pretty complex. Here is an illustration of a crypto patch. So crypto patches are found in crypts and they're, they're a small collection of lymphoid tissue and we have about 30,000 in throughout our gut. And these are primitive but very, very important to induce other types of lymphoid tissue. These are isolated lymphoid follicles. They are a little more organized when compared to the primitive crypto patches. Not as organized as pious patches but somewhere in between. These are pious patches, a lot more organized when compared to the previous two. Pious patches are the largest of the uh, gut associated or the mucosa associated lymphoid tissue and they are found in the small intestine, colon and the cecum. An important cell in these patches is something called as an M cell. We, I'll talk about it sometime later in some other presentation. But these M cells are very important for presenting the antigens that come from the gut. So in this paper, Human Gut Associated Lymphoid Tissues, Diversity Structure and Function, the authors present tissue which have been stained which show the pious patches, the isolated lymphoid follicles and the appendix as well as isolated lymphoid follicles in the colon. 
let's get into the functions of the Gold in the next few episodes. Thank you for watching.